Hello, friends. Welcome to another eye-opening video on the silent threats to your well-being. Today, we're talking about something important. Your liver. You may think you're taking good care of it, but some everyday habits can hurt this vital organ. We'll show you 12 surprising things that could be bad for your liver. This info might really help you stay healthier. 1. Excessive alcohol consumption. Drinking too much alcohol can quickly harm your liver. When you drink, your liver works hard to break down the alcohol. This process creates harmful substances in your body. If you drink more than one to two drinks a day, your liver can't keep up. Over time, too much alcohol can lead to fat buildup in your liver. This is called fatty liver disease. It's like your liver becomes clogged with fat, making it harder for your liver to do its job. Your liver helps clean your blood and make important proteins. When it's full of fat, it can't do these things well. Alcohol also causes inflammation in your liver. This is like your liver becoming irritated and swollen. If this keeps happening, scar tissue can form. This is called cirrhosis. Cirrhosis is very serious and can lead to liver failure. Even if you don't drink every day, binge drinking is also harmful. Binge drinking means having many drinks in a short time. This sudden flood of alcohol overwhelms your liver. It can cause quick and severe damage. To protect your liver, it's best to limit alcohol or avoid it completely. 2. Regular intake of high fructose corn syrup. High fructose corn syrup, HFCS, is a sneaky liver enemy. It's in many processed foods and drinks. Unlike regular sugar, HFCS goes straight to your liver, where it turns into fat very quickly. When you eat too much HFCS, your liver gets overwhelmed. It starts to store the extra fat inside itself. This can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. NAFLD is becoming more common, especially in young people. HFCS also causes inflammation in your liver. Over time, this can damage liver cells. Damaged liver cells don't work as well. They can't help clean your blood or make important proteins. Another problem with HFCS is that it doesn't make you feel full. You might eat more without realizing it. This can lead to weight gain. Extra weight puts more stress on your liver. To protect your liver, read food labels carefully. Choose whole foods instead of processed ones. Fruits have natural fructose, but they also have fiber. This fiber helps slow down how fast your body absorbs fructose. 3. Overconsumption of processed meats. Processed meats like bacon and sausages might taste good but are not liver friendly. These meats are often high in saturated fats. Your liver has to work extra hard to break down these fats. When you eat a lot of processed meats, fat can build up in your liver cells. This condition is called steatosis. It's like your liver cells become stuffed with fat making it harder for them to do their job properly. Processed meats also contain a lot of salt. Too much salt can lead to high blood pressure, which puts extra stress on the liver. Your liver must work harder to filter your blood when blood pressure is high. Many processed meats contain nitrates and nitrites, which are used to preserve the meat. However, these compounds can form harmful compounds in your body and damage liver cells over time. To help your liver, Choose fresh, unprocessed meats instead. When you do eat processed meats, make it a rare treat rather than a daily habit. 4. Frequent use of acetaminophen beyond recommended dosages. Acetaminophen, also known as paracetamol, is a common painkiller. It's in many over-the-counter medicines. But taking too much can seriously harm your liver. Your liver breaks down acetaminophen, but it can only handle so much at once. If you take more than the recommended dose, your liver gets overloaded. This can lead to acute liver failure, which is very dangerous. What many people don't realize is that acetaminophen is in lots of different medicines. You might be taking more than you think. Cold and flu remedies often contain it. So do some prescription painkillers. Alcohol makes acetaminophen even more dangerous for your liver. If you drink regularly, even the normal dose might be too much. Your liver is already busy dealing with the alcohol. Another risk is taking acetaminophen when you haven't eaten. Your liver is more vulnerable when you're fasting or malnourished. 
it doesn't have the resources to process the drug safely. To protect your liver, always read medicine labels carefully. Don't take more than the recommended dose. Be careful about combining different medicines. If you're not sure, ask a pharmacist or doctor for advice. 5. Daily consumption of sugary sodas and energy drinks. Sugary sodas and energy drinks are like sugar bombs for your liver. They contain huge amounts of added sugars, which your liver quickly turns into fat. When you drink these beverages regularly, your liver starts to look like a fatty liver, even if you're not overweight. Sugar overload can lead to insulin resistance, which means your body can't use insulin properly to control blood sugar. Energy drinks are particularly problematic. They often contain other stimulants besides sugar. These put extra stress on your liver. Your liver has to work overtime to process these substances. The acidity in these drinks can also be an issue. It can disrupt the balance of your gut bacteria. This imbalance can lead to inflammation in your body, including your liver. Many people don't realize how many calories they're drinking. A single can of soda can contain as much sugar as several pieces of fruit, but it doesn't make you feel full like solid food does. To help your liver, try switching to water or unsweetened tea. 6. Eating a diet high in saturated and trans fats. Eating lots of saturated and trans fats is like giving your liver a heavy workload. These fats are found in many fried and processed foods, baked goods, and snack foods. When you eat these fats, your liver has to process them, but it struggles with these types of fats. They can build up in liver cells, leading to inflammation and damage to the liver over time. Trans fats are particularly harmful. They're made when liquid oils are turned into solid fats. Your body doesn't know how to deal with them properly. They can increase bad cholesterol and decrease good cholesterol. Eating a diet high in these fats can lead to fatty liver disease. This is when fat builds up in your liver cells. It can make it hard for your liver to work properly and may also prevent it from removing toxins from your blood. These fats also contribute to insulin resistance, which occurs when the body can't use insulin properly. This can lead to type 2 diabetes, which puts extra stress on the liver. To protect your liver, choose healthier fats. These include olive oil, avocados, and nuts. 7. Skipping breakfast regularly. Skipping breakfast might seem like a way to cut calories, but it can actually harm your liver. Your liver works all night while you sleep, and it needs fuel in the morning to keep working well. When you skip breakfast, your body goes into a fasting state, which can increase insulin resistance. Insulin resistance makes it harder for your body to control blood sugar, and your liver plays a big role in this process. Not eating breakfast can also lead to overeating later. You might choose unhealthy snacks or larger portions at lunch. This can lead to weight gain. Extra weight puts more stress on your liver. Skipping breakfast can affect your metabolism, which is how your body turns food into energy. A slower metabolism can lead to fat buildup in your liver. When you don't eat breakfast, your body may break down muscles for energy. This can lower your overall muscle mass. Less muscle means your body burns fewer calories. This can lead to weight gain over time. To help your liver, try to eat a balanced breakfast. Include protein, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. This gives your liver the nutrients it needs to start the day right. 8. Chronic sleep deprivation. Not getting enough sleep is surprisingly bad for your liver. Your liver does a lot of important work while you sleep. It removes toxins from your blood and makes new proteins. When you don't sleep enough, your liver can't finish all its nightly tasks. This can lead to a buildup of harmful substances in your body. It's like leaving work unfinished every day. Lack of sleep also affects hormones. It can increase stress hormones like cortisol. High cortisol levels can lead to insulin resistance, making it harder for your body to control blood sugar. Sleep deprivation can also make you crave unhealthy foods. You might eat more sugary or fatty foods when you're tired. These foods are hard on your liver. Not sleeping enough can lead to weight gain. Extra weight puts more stress on your liver. It can lead to fatty liver disease over time. 
Your body's internal clock, or circadian rhythm, affects liver function. Not sleeping regularly disrupts this rhythm, making your liver less efficient. To help your liver, aim for 7 to 8 hours of sleep each night. 9. Prolonged sedentary behavior. Even if you exercise regularly, sitting for long periods each day can harm your liver. Sitting for hours slows down your body's processes, including how your liver handles fats and sugars. Long periods of sitting can lead to insulin resistance, which can lead to fat buildup in the liver cells. Sitting too much can also lead to weight gain. Extra weight puts more stress on your liver. It can lead to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease over time. When you sit for long periods, blood flow slows down. This means fewer nutrients and less oxygen reach your liver, which needs these to function properly. Sitting for hours can affect your metabolism. A slower metabolism can lead to fat buildup in your liver. It's like your body goes into storage mode instead of burning energy. Even if you exercise, it might not be enough to offset long periods of sitting. Your liver needs regular movement throughout the day to work its best. To help your liver, try to move more during the day. Stand up and stretch every hour. Take short walks. Use a standing desk if you can. Small movements add up to big benefits for your liver. 10. Regular exposure to environmental toxins. Using cleaning products without proper ventilation can harm your liver over time. Many cleaning products contain harsh chemicals. These chemicals can enter your body through your skin or when you breathe them in. Your liver is responsible for breaking down these toxins. But if you're exposed to too many, your liver can get overwhelmed. It's like giving your liver extra work to do every day. Some cleaning chemicals can directly damage liver cells. This can lead to inflammation in your liver. Over time, this inflammation can cause scarring. Scarred liver tissue doesn't work as well as healthy tissue. Many people don't realize that mixing certain cleaning products can create toxic fumes. These fumes are particularly harmful to your liver. They can cause acute liver damage if the exposure is high enough. Even natural cleaning products can be a problem if used in enclosed spaces. Essential oils and other plant-based ingredients still need to be processed by your liver. The buildup of toxins from cleaning products can contribute to fatty liver disease. This is when fat accumulates in your liver cells, making it harder for your liver to function properly. To protect your liver, always use cleaning products in well-ventilated areas. Open windows and doors. Consider using less toxic alternatives when possible. Wear gloves to prevent skin absorption. 11. Smoking or daily exposure to secondhand smoke. Smoking or being exposed to secondhand smoke daily can severely damage your liver. Many people know smoking harms the lungs, but its effects on the liver are less well known. Cigarette smoke contains thousands of chemicals. Your liver must work hard to break these down, which can lead to oxidative stress in your cells. Your liver is constantly fighting a battle against these toxins. Smoking increases the risk of developing liver cancer. The chemicals in cigarette smoke can directly damage liver DNA. This can cause cells to grow out of control, leading to tumors. The toxins in cigarette smoke can cause inflammation in your liver. Chronic inflammation can lead to scarring or fibrosis. Over time, this can progress to cirrhosis, a serious liver condition. Smoking also affects how your liver processes other substances. It can change how your liver breaks down medications and alcohol. This can make these substances more toxic to your body. To protect your liver, the best thing to do is quit smoking. If you don't smoke, avoid secondhand smoke as much as possible. Your liver will recover when you stop exposing it to these toxins. 12. Frequent use of anabolic steroids. Regular use of anabolic steroids can severely damage your liver. These steroids are synthetic substances similar to the male sex hormone testosterone. They're sometimes used to build muscle or enhance athletic performance. Your liver processes anabolic steroids. When you take them regularly, it's like giving your liver a constant heavy workload, which can lead to liver cell damage over time. One serious risk of steroid use is a condition called peliosis hepatis. This is when blood-filled cysts form in your liver. 
these cysts can rupture, causing internal bleeding. It's a rare but dangerous condition. Steroids can also cause tumors in your liver. Most of these tumors are benign, meaning they're not cancerous, but they can still interfere with your liver's normal function. In rare cases, these tumors can become cancerous. Using steroids can lead to a type of liver damage called cholestasis. This is when the flow of bile from your liver is reduced or blocked. It can cause yellowing of your skin and eyes, itching, and other symptoms. Anabolic steroids can also increase your risk of developing fatty liver disease. This is when fat builds up in your liver cells. It can make it harder for your liver to do its job properly. To protect your liver, avoid using anabolic steroids unless prescribed by a doctor for a specific medical condition. That's it for our list of 12 habits that can harm your liver. Now you know what to watch out for. Small changes can make a big difference in keeping your liver healthy. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more health tips. Got questions? Leave them in the comments. And why not share this with friends and family? It might help them too. Thanks for watching and take care of that liver.